ओके हेलो हेलो बैक अगेन I don't know what I'm going to um say. today I'm in extreme time pressure so I need to do something before leaving and that's why I just thought let's let's make a video about this this is now my last guanyeri ole bowl and here in front you have the pictures of the guanyeri ole bowl okay now you see this one definitely much darker right and uh, now what i'm going to do is i take a very very fine sandpaper which is actually not sand but it's diamond dust and then it's not paper but it's uh, like a, a fabric we call it micro mesh that exists in different um, grades this one ask me how much is it 3200 okay and it means that 3200 tiny tiny diamond spots are on one square centimeter and uh, so when you buy next time uh, sandpaper and it's 80 there are 80 um, scratchy pieces of uh, stone or something or or glass in the beginning was it and uh, and with this one i'm going to sand this okay and my idea actually to make now a video about this is that people ask me now antique instruments do they sound different um, I don't like the antique because then they are, the instrument is already consumed and things like this it's actually this video here I would like to tell you a little bit about the difference of new style and antiqued and then certainly there are several levels of antiquing and how much you're um, damaging an instrument now a new made instrument antiqued is not really antiqued we make it fake old looking and to make this we varnish the instrument and then at the very end when everything is done we put a thin layer of dark pigments you take them away again and probably not even one percent of what I put it on last evening remains the rest is all going away and it's just a little bit you're modeling somehow the appearance of this antiquing effect that some tiny parts leave a little bit of these pigments in some small tool marks scratches usually i don't make any more these many scratches inside i think it's nice that that you just uh let the time do its own work and so I do a little bit this appearance of the original without exaggerating yeah so it becomes a little bit this initial idea of the original without too much and then I just a little bit model the appearance now before I continue what I actually wanted to describe you have pigments are tiny pieces you can um, make them out of uh, a chemical reaction with different metals uh, red uh, is out of uh, becomes from uh, in English iron uh, but aluminum and there are many many different kind of, of pigments made out of this out of chemical reactions alizarin and uh, things like this and this one is actually earth terra d'ombra burnt amber and you have it you you have it as a as a pigment as a powder yeah and that's what i use actually and then i put it together with some linseed oil i make it very um dense yeah so you cannot even pour it it's very dense and that with a with my old brushes then i put it on and then i put a glove and then with this one with a rag I take the most of it actually off without taking it completely off I try to leave a thin layer of these 
pigments with linseed oil I put it into the UV box or under the sun during daytime then it dries out and then the day, next day then I can sandpaper it it's a little bit like a, a final not even a layer because there are just some tiny dots and these tiny we call it ah, I have to put on uh, lo sporco uh, the dirt uh, it's not dirt okay it's actually pigment it's just it's not red brown transparent like here but it's burnt amber which is not transparent yeah and then you put it on and then you model it so in order that you become this nice appearance so in short terms putting on dirt or antiquing actually an instrument does not influence the sound it's the more you make a copy of an original, the more you try to capture the shape and that the edges are already worn or things like this is not really a damage, it's just more an appearance and it brings the instrument, your copy you are making, more to the original and therefore already only because of its shape and its final uh, appearance it is closer to the original so it's easier uh, it's not that easy to capture also the sound okay the sound mostly is because of the shape of the model okay but just so that's a more a question of if you like it antiqued this is the procedure and you by what I told you you will already immediately understand it doesn't really influence or damage or wear the instrument or damage the outcome of an instrument. It's a personal style. If you are in the opinion that uh, no antiquing is needed, this is okay. I personally, I always try to uh, thought it's very attractive and that's why I do it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.